Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. It's another wonderful day with the Lord. Yes, amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for this lovely morning. Oh, we praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. Yes, so, so good. Yes, so wonderful. Yes, so awesome, God. We surrender ourselves into your might hands again today, Father. The charge, take over, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, you are with us, in us, through us. And with you, Father, nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, the owner of the universe and the earth and all that is in it, Father. You own us, oh God, and so you have the right, Lord, to charge over our lives, Father. Direct our steps, Father God. Hallelujah. We offer our lives into your mighty hands, O oh God. Thank you, Father. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Won't you, Lord, take a look at our hearts? Oh, yes. Father God, mold it, we find it. Use it for your plan. Yes, God. Use it for your plans, oh, Father. Won't you, Lord, take a look at our hearts. Mold it, refine it. As you say it as a part, we want to run to the altar and catch the fire. To stand in the gap between the living and the dead. Give us a heart of compassion for a world without vision. We will make a difference, be bringing hope to our land. Yes, Lord. We will answer the call. To build the church without walls, let your glory be shown, and bring salvation to the lost, to the lost. Hallelujah, Father, yes. Bring salvation to the lost, O oh God, that they will come to know your Lord as their personal Lord and Savior, Father, for those who do not know your Lord. Because that is the most important, Father, is the salvation. It's not about our talent, the richness. It's nothing that sorts. But God, salvation is very important, Father. That, hallelujah, because that is a life of everlasting. So, Father... God, thank you, Lord, that you are with us, God. Thank you, Lord, that Jesus, as we receive you as our personal Lord and Savior, we have, Lord, for sure, Lord, salvation and forever with you, Lord, in heaven. Hallelujah, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Life forever and ever. Hallelujah. And so, Father God, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Father, we want to partake the bread and the cup. Come, let's partake and receive the Lord Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior. Let's receive the Lord and so that we can partake. Hallelujah. The bread and the cup as we receive him. Lord Jesus, Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. We open our heart to receive you as our personal Lord and Savior. Thank you for the forgiveness of our sins and giving us eternal life. 
Make us the kind of person you want us to be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. Come, let's party. Father God, we receive you as our personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the bread of life. Lord, thank you for the forgiveness of our sins. Amen. Let's party. Hallelujah. Jesus, the name above all names. Thank you, Father God, for this cup of the new covenant, for the forgiveness of our sins, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, God, for you were wounded for our transgressions. He was braced for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Thank you, Father God, Lord, for the forgiveness of our sins, for this precious blood. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We glorify you, Father. Hallelujah. Jesus, the name above all names. Thank you, Father. Because you are the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus. Not our good work. Not any man or any woman. Not anyone, but only Jesus, through Jesus. Hallelujah. So as we receive you, Lord, we are for sure in our heart, Lord. As we receive you as our personal Lord and Savior, we have a beautiful life, oh God, Lord. And for sure, forever and ever with you in heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for your promised words to us. God, you are saying, all things are possible. I will give you rest. I love you. I will direct your steps. You can do all things. I am able. I forgive you. I will supply all your needs. I have not given you a spirit of fear. Cast all your cares on me. I will give you, I give you wisdom. Amen. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Father God will receive that blessing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Lord, we also, God, um, we surrender our lives into your mighty hands for your protection, Father God, Jesus, with my beloved and I, and says our beloved family in the Lord. Oh God, our beloved family, all very own family, our brothers and sisters, father and mother, grandparents, our niece and nephews, hallelujah. Father God, cousins, relatives and friends, oh Lord, our employers, God, we pray for our Every one of them, Father God, Lord, under the sound of my voice right now listening, we pray, Lord Jesus, O oh God, for your protection, O oh Lord, that as we who dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God in Him we will trust. Surely He shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the peerless pestilence. He shall cover us with His feathers and under His wings we shall take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. We will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side, and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked, because we have made the Lord who is our refuge, even the Most High, our dwelling place. No evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling, for He shall give His angels charge over us, amen, to keep to keep us in all our ways. Thank you, Lord, for the angels that charge over us. Thank you, Lord, for sending angels, hallelujah, for us, Lord, to take care of us, Lord, hallelujah. And in their hands they shall bear us up, lest we dash our foot up on this, on the against a stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. We shall trample under our foot. The Lord is saying that because they have set their love upon me, therefore I will deliver them. I will set them on high because they have known my name. They shall call upon me and I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will deliver them and honor them. With long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Amen and amen. We receive it and we believe it, Father God, Lord. We are ninety. 91 years old, <laughs> like some 91, yes, more on that and more, Lord, and beyond, Lord. Long life, you will satisfy us with good health and also salvation, not just from hell to heaven. You will save our dreams and visions, Lord. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise you, Lord, for your love and faithfulness. Yes, it is good to give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, and His love endureth forever and ever. Oh, thank you, Father. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. Come, mga mahal. Let's continue on reading God's word in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33. Father God, Precious Holy Spirit, as we read your word, help us to understand. Give us, Lord, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, O Father, as we read your word in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33. Hallelujah. Promises of peace and prosperity. While Jeremiah was still confined in the courtyard of the guard, the Lord gave him this second message. This is what the Lord says, The Lord who made the earth, who formed and established it, whose name is the Lord, ask me, and I tell you remarkable secrets you do not know about things to come. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says, You have turned down the houses of this city and even the king's palace, to get materials to strengthen the walls against the uh, sage ram ram ramps and swords of the enemy. You expect to fight the Babylonians, but the men of this city are already as good as dead, for I have determined to destroy them in my terrible anger. I have abandoned them because of all their wickedness. Nevertheless, the time will come when I will heal Jerusalem's wounds and give it prosperity and true peace. I will restore the fortunes of Judah and Israel and rebuild their towns. I will cleanse them of their sins against me and forgive all their sins of rebellion. Then this city will bring me joy, glory, and honor before all the nations of the earth. The people of the world will see all the good I do for my people, and they will tremble with awe at the peace and prosperity I provide for them. This is what the Lord says. You have said this is a desolate land where people and animals have all disappeared. Yet, in the empty street of Jerusalem and Judah, other towns, there will be heard once more, the sounds of joy and laughter, the joy voices of bridegrooms and the brides will be heard again, along with the joyous songs of people bringing thanksgiving, offerings to the Lord. They will sing, Give thanks to the Lord of heaven's armies, for the Lord is good. His faithful love endures forever. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. For I will restore the prosperity of this land to what it is it was in the past, says the Lord. This is what the Lord of heaven's armies says. This land through though it is now desolate and has no people and animals will once more have pastures where shepherds can lead their flocks. Once again, shepherds will count their flocks in the towns of the hills country and foothills of Judah, the Negev the land of Benjamin, the vicinity of Jerusalem, and all the towns of Judah, I, the Lord, have spoken. The day will come, says the Lord, when I will do for Israel and Judah all the good things I have promised them. In those days, and all at the time, I will raise up a righteous descendant from King David's line. He will do what is just and right throughout the land. In that day, Judah will be saved. And Jerusalem will live in safety, and this is well, and this will it's be its name. The Lord is our righteousness. Amen. It's the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Who is in the line of King David? Amen. Indeed. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are so true. Your promised words. Amen. For this is what the Lord says, David will have descendants sitting on the throne of Israel forever, and there will always be Levit Levitical priests to offer burnt offerings and grain offerings and sac sacrifices to me. Then this message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. This is what the Lord says, if you can break my covenant with the day and the night to that one day not, f not follow the other, only then will my covenant with my servant David be broken. Only then will he no longer have descendant to reign 
on his throne. The same is true for my covenant with the Levit Levitical press who minister before me. And as the stars of the sky cannot be counted and the sand of the seashore cannot be measured, so I will multiply the descendants of my servant David and Levites who minister before me. The Lord gave another message to Jeremiah. He said, Have you noticed that what people are saying? The Lord chose Judah and Israel and then about and then abandon them. They are sneering and saying that Israelites is not worthy to be counted as a nation. But this is what the Lord says. I would no more reject my people than I would change my laws that govern night and day. A, a, uh, oh, sorry. Night and day, earth and sky. I will never abandon the descendants of Jacob, David, my servants, or change the plan that, that David's descendants will rule the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Instead, I will restore them to their land and have mercy on them. Father, thank you. You are so true to your promised word, Lord. Hallelujah. And indeed, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We will give thanks to the Lord of heaven's armies for the Lord is good. His faithful love endureth forever. And we are so blessed, Lord, because you restore also for our visions and dreams, Lord, and you have a wonderful plan for us, Father. Plans to prosper us and not to harm us, as Jeremiah 29, 11 says. Plans to give us a hope and a future. And Father God, we believe it and we receive it, Lord. Your promised words are true. Hallelujah. God, you are so good all the time. Thank you, mga mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Have a lovely day. You are protected by God. The angels of the Lord is with us. And so, may the joy of the Lord be our strength as 